have a pizza about to be nine o'clock. So we have show time. Show to be making tacos today. We got some tacos in the house. So our taco is gonna be more like traditional and in-house made. And check this out. So guys, you can see what we got a tortilla making. And when you need something like that, you can go to Gala Food they have over there. I was like, holy moly, what the holy. You gotta go all the way to the back by the meat department. You find that all the way in the back. It's not too bad, alright? Yeah. <laughs> so, I already made my tortilla, my masa tortilla, right here. It's a, it's a mix of corn, regular corn, and white corn. It's a, it's a mix of both. So, this right here is gonna be real interesting because that, you know, when you go in tacos, most of the places, they buy the tortilla. So, it's not 40%, 40% tortilla, the way it's supposed to be. So I'm going to show you how to make tortilla so you can impress your guests. You can impress your people that come to your house. You can impress those up there that will be like, what? This is, this is tacos? Yeah, I don't want to show you that. So this, this is the machine right here. And this is the dough. I'm going to show you how to make the dough. I have to make some over here. My thing is already going. I'm going to put some stuff in there. So let's make it happen. Something real quick. Uh, burning cup. I'm going to need some. Remember, you always want to have the same size. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna use our marine cups, about two tablespoons for that. So I think they are high over here. There we go. Two ounces. I got two ounces right here. So I, let's see how the two ounces tortilla are gonna look like. So I'm gonna go straight to the point. I'm gonna make some tortilla. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab my guest today to make tortilla for me. I got some guests over here. They gonna help me out. And let's see who who is helping me. So I got two ounces right here. So when we get the two ounces going, then you make some space so you can see what's going on over here. So two ounces. This right here, later on, I'm gonna show you the mix what I did. Half of the corn, half of the black corn, uh, in-house seasoning, cilantro, and this mini little bowl right here, so you can see a little bit. I'm gonna press this baby up. Alright, look, it's still in here. Holy moly, what? Don't press it too hard because you're gonna fall apart. Right? Then you wanna see the size. Look, that's perfect. I love that size. Then two ounces means pretty well. So either I have some oil in my tortilla, it's breaking a little bit, so I don't need a spatula. Some syrup wrap in here, or we can either be now put some spray in here. See, I got a tortilla ready to go. You put it right in the pan. Beautiful. It got some flavor on it. You don't see this everywhere. When you go to a traditional restaurant spot, they don't have it like that. I got some cilantro inside me. Some juice. All right, guys. So, okay, I'm gonna leave the video. I would like to put some water for burning corn too quick. So I'm gonna put a little spray in here. Let's see how that go. Then I know my, my people over here, they're watching how I'm doing the tortilla. So I'm gonna get someone to help me out with the tortilla because there's gonna be too much work for me. While I'm doing the steak, we're doing beef and chicken on a taco today. So that's gonna be the first one. I'm gonna jump for the second one. Well, on the video over there, like cracking up on me or what? He laughing on me? Oh, no, somebody over there. That's all. <laughs> all right. This is the heat. Go medium heat. You don't want to wait. You don't want to be way too hot. Then you're gonna burn the tortilla. All right. I said he going. Yeah, the heat is going very well. All right. Now next, two more ounces. Two ounces. Here we go. Next. 
So right here, let's see how this one goes. Yeah, it's cooking. It's cooking. All right, now I'll show you how to make a turn um, traditional taco. I'm gonna jump on our chimichanga chicken mix. I'm gonna make over here. I'm gonna show you how to do it. All right, how we doing, guys? Don't be, don't be shy on me. You wanna help? I can bring you over here and help me out with the tortilla. All right, you wanna help me out? We got a superstar over here. We got Alex in the house. He's one of the superstars from Gala Food right here. So he's going to be helping me out with the tortilla. So Ali, how are we doing today? We're doing good. We're doing good. You're rocking like a rock star? Every day. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. So he's going to be helping me out with the tortilla. So I'm going to get, he already know the basic stuff. He was in his hand. Now I'm about to be working on the chicken and the beef while he helped me out with the tortilla. So I'm going to give you some space and then I'm going to be showing people how we're going to be doing this, all right? That's what I'm talking about. So let me get to the pan on the other side. All right. I just need to swap one in there. All right, guys, this is my favorite one. Look at this. Nice and pink. No, that's, that's my daughter. You know, that's Stop it, boy. Oh, my God. <laughs> So we want to swap it right here. So you got your dough, two ounces screw. Then you got the tortilla. Make it right there. Now just the kind of rest you're gonna be working on. On the stuff that's gonna go inside. Alright guys? Okay. So for the production over there, please. You know me, let him let him work on his stuff and then focus on my stuff over here. Okay? So I already showed him how to do it, he's already working on it, and we're going to have a lot of missing tortillas. So i got to continue over here, that I love it. While he's making it, he's probably going to end up putting it in here. Right here, something like that, you can get it at home, you know, and if, uh, I think that I will have this container, I'm not sure. The last time I think I bought it, but I don't know if they have it now. Yeah, since we got a food, right by the meat department, the bottom shelf, like he said before. All right, that's what I'm talking about. So this right here, they keep the tortilla nice and moist. So when you want to make fresh tortilla, you keep it in here while they're cooking. And this right here, it, it, it's still going to cook the tortilla, but you're making more because the, the moist, the heat, you're going to get it going. So we got this right here for your tortilla, while you're making more. And that's what I'm talking about. We will be here having for now. Let me work on my chicken. Any question guys, feel free, don't be shy. Uh, I'm gonna try my best to please you guys. That's why I'm here. To please my people out there, to make sure they, they get their best so they can impress their guests and go shop to the best of the best. Gala Food Supermarket. Boom! <laughs> So now the heat is going pretty well. 
I'm using tomatoes. I got some tricolor peppers. Okay, now you still have enough low. So I have to let it cook. Like I was saying the last time, make sure you always get the bigger pieces first, and then the small one after. So that will help you out. Oh, this guy make, do amazing work right here. Look at that. He got a tortilla going. Well, when you eat tacos, you, you don't find this nowhere. Go eat taco today. I bet you, you won't find tortilla like that. And that's what I'm done. I want to impress your guests, and that's what we're doing here. All right, guys? Ooh, what's up with him? He going to... I need... I need to add it. Caliente. All right. Hey, Alex, I'm trying to mess you up over here. Mariah, how we do? Yeah. A production right there, Mariah, she wrapped the rock stars pretty good with the camera. We one side, not that one here. Right here is yours. Thank you, life. The other one's gonna be all over the media. We got a couple good guests right here. Amazing people. Janice in the house. Oh, 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 oh. Put your hands up. And Mr. Danny. Representing. Oh, not a bee. <laughs> the lady. Charlie. Superstar. Superstar wife. All right. <laughs> Elda, the Heidi. Okay, Marlon Jr. Mariah. Oh, I can smell the peppers going now. Now I'm putting some onions in there. So, peppers, onion, tomato. It's all for the chicken. So we need to let it cook pretty well. Now, let me get the chicken pulled. Yes, guys, I got downstairs, we got some beer if you want some. Over here I got some wine. Don't, don't be shy, guys. All right, that's perfect. Over here? All right. All right. Please plug it in over here. I need some wine. Mariah, please. And did you pick Corona because today is Mexican night? So we got Corona. Who doesn't know about Corona? Come on. Tell me about it. Corona is a risk. Yeah. I, I want to tell you something real quick about Corona. When you open the bottle, you know why they put the line on it? You have a idea why they put the line on it? Something they used to say back then, not now, that when you open the Corona, it's not like it's calm. Like weird. So they used to put the line to it, so they, that smell can go away. So that's why I did the history about Corona. And I think, yeah, it may look kind of funny when you warm. Like that cold, it won't smell it. But sometimes you like, uh, do that, try it. Yeah, it kind of smells funny. You put a line here, I got some line over here, so it smells like all over. Then what you do after that? Be like, yeah, salud, que viva Mexico. And it's all good. Hey, when you like some, some beer? Of course. So oh, eventually that heat, you're feeling that. Yeah, it's kind of cold with you. No, because the AC, when it when on vacation. Oh. <laughs> That's what I can say. All right, the AC went on vacation yesterday. I don't know what happened. I'm like, whoa. All right, let me get your beer. All right, very quick. Yeah. I got a cool slide. Well, that's a Mexican. You want to fly your corona? Huh? You want to fly your corona? Uh, no, I'm not thirsty. I want to drink. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Woo! I'm going to have another baby tonight. <laughs> oh, oh, <Yeah>. right. <laughs> holy moly, my come on. I'm going to say anything. So, will you like light on it? All right, you see? 
this this is real. This is real right here, guys. We got a real, a real attack, a real routine. Look, look at that color. Holy moly, what the moly. So I'm going to get a chicken in there. Without much, 
or if you still have some that's spicy. And leave a touch of chili pepper. Hey, don't go too far from me. Come on. So now we're just gonna let it cook and then I'm gonna jump on my beef. The beef is gonna be very similar. Oh, the beef that we got today is pretty interesting beef. You know what I call it? Probably King Alex explain you more about this type of beef. You can get this, or you can get this guy. This kind, you can find this at Gala Food Supermarket, 1050 East Main Street. What this is, this is grass-fed organic beef, okay? Grass-fed, okay? This, these animals just eat grass, that's it. There's no preservatives, there's no, there's no hay, nothing. Strictly grass. Very healthy. This is a new trend right now. Find this at Gala Foods, 1050 East Main Street, Richwood, Connecticut. Oh, I love the color. The color looks amazing. Most of the time when you get your ground beef, it didn't look the way this one looked like. So I'm gonna go a little close on the camera. So look at the color of this ground beef right here, guys. That looks nice, huh? Look nice. It's not the most fattening on it. Yeah, a little, uh, I like a little fattening to it, but this looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and go a little chopping. Get the right color. Okay, now, I just need a little more color on the chicken right here. Alright, so you can have an idea how it looks, you see? Ready for a salad. A little more seasoning, and that's it. And I got my... Remember, you can do this either with chicken bread, chicken thighs. Uh, remember, no chicken wings with it. Chicken wings will be too much bone time. Alright? <laughs> Alright, let's go to the side. Perfect. Oh, you're doing amazing with the tortilla. Look at this guy. Yeah. Oh my goodness, look at this guy. Do you see the color of the tortilla? It's hard to find those, I'm sorry. We got like, a nice cool recipe right there. So when it's cooking, I'm gonna jump to the next. Ground beef. And you see, it's, you see in you, 
I know you can reach there. I know you can get there. But remember, it won't be easy. It won't be easy. It'll take a while, all right? So keep writing, be unstoppable. And every day, make sure you squeeze the 24 hours. Boom. <laughs> I like it, I like it. Woo! All right. This beans right here is almost there. She is about to be ready. He's killing it right there, look. Oh, we got plenty of tortilla now. All right. Any questions, guys? The whole idea over here is your, to, to, to you impress your guests. Do you have fun? Can you see how we do to how original we keep it? This is no, um, you know, this is life. We're not, no editando aquí nada. We keep it real. All right, guys. Any advice for next week? So give me advice all this. Oh, that's amazing. You see, you brought me the vibe. Hey, Teddy, I see, I see you hiding behind the camera. I see how you do. You're rocking like a rock star. <laughs> Anthony, you start hiding from me. Huh? I start hiding from me. No, I'm not it, that's, that's a laundry back there. <laughs> okay. Then I need to move a little faster. So I got my two beef. I got a beef, the chicken. Now I'm about to make some guacamole real quick so we can get this going because I don't want to call you guys too long. That's the whole idea. That's pretty hard. Huh? <laughs> that's it. I told you. I told you, brother. That he's going pretty well. Okay, let's go with this lady up. While I'm doing this, I'm going to make some guacamole real quick. So I can keep everyone entertained with So I got my avocados. Avocados. My Corona over here. So what kind of avocados are those ones? These are traditional Mexican avocados, the little ones. Uh, how, you, you know more, more than me about produce. What, okay. what kind is this? Ah. No, that's the I Haas. Haas avocado, H-A-S-S. -S. Those are the best to do guacamole. Um, they taste like, they taste more like butter. Yeah. Very good texture and great flavor. I like to use these most of the time because they don't lose so much water. I, like I try to use the other one and you'll be like, shoot man, I bought avocado, I bought liquid. This one is real tasty, a lot, a lot back into it. And right in the label it says avocado from Mexico. That's why I call it Mexican avocado. <laughs> so he knows more about this type of thing than me, where they came from. I'm about, I'm, I'm about the cooking, he knows about the product. And that, that's a good combination. So that's, I love it. I love it. <laughs> so let's get this going quick. While I'm cooking the meat right here. Okay, perfect. So I like to keep it simple. I'm going to do a small dice on the avocado. Okay, small dice. Well, keep the avocado to not get dark, it's the line. Line will keep the avocado stay away. Another thing that helps is salt. Of course, salt, any type of salt, I want to put salt in my in-house seasoning in there. So the line will stay away from the dumpling, from my avocado. That was helpful. Okay, one. Two. Thank you. 
you will be very good. So I would like to do this thing here so I can be guys here. One, two, Any questions guys? How we doing? Don't fall asleep on me. No. Yes, about to do it. Try to like the multitask while I'm cooking this meal right here. I bet you the air is pretty hot over there. Even with the AC, last week in here was really, really hot. Last week was crazy hot. Okay. Yeah, not, not right now. Even with the AC, you will feel the heat. That door is open. You can open that door. If your door is closed, open it back up. Or? No, go ahead. You can open it. Downstairs, you are a little cooler. Okay, perfect. I already got my own car. Right on it. Put the garbage next. Huh? You have the garbage next. Yeah, most of the time I'm right here. <laughs> I'll try that next time. Maria, how are you doing? Going? So far, so good? Okay, I got my avocado. Then, you see, you focusing in here? Yep, I'm doing my avocado now. You sure? <laughs> Not really, it doesn't seem like it. Oh, right, perfect. Okay, now I'm beef. Oh, perfect. Oh, my, oh my. So I'm on the 
show you why my Timothy right here. So I got my D earlier. I got some tomatillo mustard. A little on my email seasoning, a little oil, and some uh, jalapenos. So I'll show you I'm making some green sauce. It's real simple. That's how you make green sauce. Most of the time you got some tomatillos. You get it like that. Cook it nice and neat, guys. Look at these babies. Now I'm about to put in the blender with some jalapenos in there. Oh, these babies, that's too much tomatillos. Then we're gonna blend them up and make some green sauce. And those tacos are gonna be amazing. Mm.